Good morning, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the screen on a Sony VAIO model 61315L. Uh, in order to begin, the first thing we're going to do is there's four rubber stoppers that are located at the top two and bottom two corners of the screen. Uh, they look like this. You simply pop those out with a flathead or Phillips head screwdriver. The next thing is there's going to be four screws there as well. Uh, I already have loosened them in the interest of time. You're going to loosen those and then uh, if you have issues dropping them out, you can always do it when you do the next step. The next step is to remove this surround piece here. The first way we're going to do this is reach along the side and just kind of pull on it lightly until you hear it pop. And then we're just going to go around and loosen it from the rest of the screen. Uh, again, you just want to do this kind of gently as you don't want to be responsible to break anything while you're doing it. Uh, a little bit of force is necessary, but not a lot. And then we're just going to pull it out, and here we go. Uh, next thing you'll notice is the screws that you probably, if you didn't dump them, they've fallen out. That's okay. I'm just going to go and collect those real quick so that way when we go to replace everything, you have all your hardware. Alright, that leaves us with this, the screen. Uh, there's a couple screws that need to be loosened in order to pull the screen out. The first one is located behind the tape in the upper left hand corner here. Uh, you can see where it's exactly attached to the LCD screen here. I'm just going to pull them, that screw out, place it aside. Uh, same for the one in the upper right hand corner of the monitor. I'm going to pull that one out as well. If you can get this tape out of the way, sometimes that's a little difficult. It does tend to be kind of sticky. Alright, there we go. I'm just going to unscrew that one, pull it on out. There we go. Now at the bottom of the screen you're going to have a few more. There's actually four uh, located here, here, one behind this tape, and right here. And to start, actually, I'm going to pull this one out. Drop that one so we will retrieve that later. There's another one on this metal bracket to the side here. That one's going to come out too. Once again, if we move the ever-popular tape, which frequently is in the way, there's another screw revealed behind it. We're going to simply unscrew that. Pull that one out as well. Uh, next ones are over here. This one's going to come out. This one is going to come out. And I believe there's one more behind this piece of tape here. Uh, actually, no, there's not. Okay, so after that's done, what you can do is gently put your hands behind the metal bracket uh, on the screen itself and pull it forward a little bit. And just slide it up very carefully to make sure everything has been disconnected properly. It should pop right out. You'll notice on the back here there is a connection. This is what gives the display its information that it needs in order to display what you're doing on your computer. Uh, mine had a piece of clear plastic film that was attached to it. I simply took a knife earlier and sliced it. What you're going to do is just pull straight back very carefully and it pops right out. Old damaged screen, junk. Onto the new stuff. Alright, this is the screen from LaptopScreens.com. Very nice screen, direct bolt-on replacement. As you can see, it's still in its original packaging. So pull that off, toss it to the side. We're going to remove the uh, cover to it. And we will be on our way. All right, so here we go. Brand new screen. Getting ready to toss this bad boy in. We're going to gently, very carefully lay it down, face down. We're going to apply the connector to it. We're going to Plug it back in. Uh, again, it's just a reverse process. You push it right in, bam, presto, it's in. If you want at this point, you can do a function test to ensure that it is, in fact, in there properly. Uh, the way you would do this is just simply hitting the power button. I'm going to quickly retrieve that one screw I had dropped. There we go, got it. Okay. Now, in order for this process to work, it's the same thing as what we did earlier, it's just the reverse process. So first, we're going to kind of tilt this back a little bit. We're going to flip our new screen up on here, and 
we're going to start putting screws in. So the first screw into the monitor here. Uh, again, we're just going to replace all the screws that came out previously. So there's one. And if you're like me, a little clumsy, you tend to drop them, but that's okay. We're working on a big table. There's no chance of us actually losing the screw. There's that one. And I'm going to replace the top ones here. Once again, the tape always happens to be in the way. Uh, I'm just going to pull that back, reveal where my screw needs to go, and I'm going to get my screw, put it on in, cover that one back up with the tape that's there. No big deal. All right, a couple more screws here to go. Um, there's one down here on the lower bracket again. There's one over on this side on the lower bracket. Now, these ones are for the hinges that actually hold the uh, thing on. There's another screw here. And finally, one more screw here. All right, so at this point we have the screen installed back onto the laptop. Uh, I just want to check, check it to make sure that it in fact does work. So I'll start by turning on the power to the computer. Good, we have display, perfect. Okay, I'm just gonna force it to shut down. Just wanna make sure everything was working correctly. Now that it's down, we're gonna take our surround again and replace it. So the first thing we do is just slide it on in here, get it all lined up, and eventually you can get it to snap back in once you have it lined up correctly. Sometimes a little bit of a process. There we go. We're on this side. Snap it all back in. All right, we're almost done. Now the last step, two steps, is to replace the four screws that came out of the corner. I'm going to start up here at the top. I'm going to screw this one back in. I'm going to toss this nice little rubber cover back on top of it. Bam! There's one, three to go. Up here in this corner, that one's installed. I'm gonna toss this little rubber cover back on it. There we go. All right, just the bottom two. Slide that in there, screw it on in. Take this little rubber stopper, pop that back in there for it. So it looks nice and pretty. And need the final screw, and then we're done. Screw is in. Just make sure it's all tightened down correctly. And the last little rubber stopper is now in place. Alright, so that's how you do it. The screen's back together, everything's hunky dory, and last time we're gonna just make sure everything works. As you can see, screen works, everything's hunky-dory. So folks, that is how you replace the screen on a Sony VAIO PCG61315L. Again, the screen came from uh, laptopscreens.com. Cheap replacement, very simple to do yourself. Highly recommend saving the money if you need to do it. Uh, that's all, hope you enjoyed this, and good luck to you, to those that are replacing your own screens.